Good afternoon. I'm Bob Toomey. Welcome to Around the Old Town. Today we have a great guest, a veteran of ours, Darlene Lewis, from the Crafts Fair at the Abington Senior Center holds, and Diane Keith, very involved in the Senior Center here in Abington, former president of the Friends, and uh, many other roles that she has, particularly cooking, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, but we're basically focusing this particular show on the Crafts Fair. That's a big fundraiser for the Senior Center. Before we start, we're taping this show on the 29th of September. The we had a special town meeting sad day that went approximately 900 votes in favor of putting the new school initiative on the ballot opposed to 20 votes against so on saturday uh october 18th at the uh, abington high school will be the vote where to vote yes or no on the new school project so keep that in mind uh, we'll go over that later on in the show darlene welcome back again <laughs> we love to see you Glad to be back. And of course, you want to mostly focus on the Arts and Crafts show that the yes. Senior Center hosts. Yes. Tell us what's going on this year. Well, this is our fifth annual craft fair. Uh, it's called the Abington Community Craft Fair. Um, and we're, we're hoping to do even better than we have. It's, it's been a success from the first year. Um, we have many of the same people that they keep coming back same vendors, vendors and right. crafters, but we always get new ones as well. Um, as you mentioned, it is a fundraiser for the, uh, well, for FOAS, which is Friends of Abington Seniors, Inc. Uh, all the money goes to that organization to uh, support programs and activities for the seniors of Abington. Great. And you mentioned that some of them are some new vendors. Well, who are the more significant, uh, consistent vendors? Oh, uh, well, we have uh, Debbie Hendrickson. Uh, she's all about, uh, well, what's it called? All things painted. She paints all kinds of things. It's really great. We also have Bobby Autry, who does uh, Christmas things. I mean, she has this big display with all kinds of uh, Christmas things. We have the South Shore Wood Turners who come every year. They, on top of doing really great stuff, they're great entertainment. They bring their lathe. They will let you watch. And if you're old enough, they might even let you do something. Great. Um, well, we always have the Gifted Hands. That's my other group. Okay. Uh, that's knitted and crocheted items. We also, for the second year, we have um, American Girl 18-inch dolls. And we have lots of clothes for them. Yeah, you have and some, I can I show believe. some yes, things. Yes, please, yes. This is a doll dress. Very fancy dress. It is, yes. Um, have another. Another fancy dress. Now, are these made by the same skills? Actually, these were made by me. But your own work. Yeah. Very good. Here's a raincoat that's really waterproof. <laughs> and a couple of other dresses. And we have lots of, of things there. Are these geared towards the American Girl series or just, just, just dolls just in general? Just for American Girl. Uh, well, it's actually 18-inch dolls. They okay. don't have to be American, American Girl. American Girl, sure. Um, they fit both American Girl dolls and any 18-inch doll. Sure. Um, and I mean, we don't. We do have a few of those traditional costumes, but that's not really our, our focus. Right. I and mean, that's kind of past. I sure. Think. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, we we will have our big 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 table. We have lots of food, uh, lots of cakes and pies and. So and meatballs and uh, <laughs> that's, salads. That's, and that's, <laughs> that's Diane's area. I can too. tell you about the They about have a lot of lunch. <coughs> Diane, tell yeah, me about Yeah, why don't you talk menu? about the food pasta? Okay. Well, Anna Fopiano and I are in charge of the food, and we have helpers. We have three other helpers. Anna makes her famous corn chowder. We have people come from Hingham to get it. 
Um, I make meatballs and sauce, we get Greek salad, we have hot dogs, we have chips, in the morning coffee and donuts, and then we have soda and water. And most of the food items are $3. We try to keep them reasonably priced, except for the hot dogs are a little cheaper. We want something for the children. Right. And um, it seems to be a big success. We usually don't have much left. Right, and the price, I mean, for $3, it's, you, like you said, you barely get a hot dog. You can't get a hot dog outside senior no. center for $3, never mind the salads you offer and the meatballs. And, and this is homemade. I mean, this is all yeah, well, for the most part. We buy the meatballs, but I make yeah. the sauce, and Anna makes all the corn chowder homemade. And, of course, we give them a little bag of crackers with it. And, yeah. um, it, and we had the Greek salad for the first time last year, and... It was a big success, so I'm going to do it again. Right, it's back here again. Fifth year, you said, darling? Fifth year. Fifth year. And Diane is one of uh, the people I call the kitchen divas because <laughs> they do all the cooking. Sure. Now, they you've do done an awful lot down at the Senior Senate. Can you just tell me, just so the viewers understand some of the other things you've done? I mean, you do more than cook. Yes. <laughs> well, I try and organize various affairs, like we just had a brunch for the seniors, a free brunch for Abington residents. And um, Anna Fopiano takes care of checking everybody in because I'm running around buying the food and ordering the meals. And we've had, we have breakfast with Santa in December. Throughout Actually, the, we we're going to do a show about that, right? Yes. Well, yes. Okay. And we have a big corned beef and cabbage dinner every March for St. Patrick's Day, which the Lions Club cooks for us. We buy the food and they do the cooking and they do a great job. And um, if anyone would like to pitch in and help do pots and pans at any of these things, we would really appreciate it. <laughs> We're trying to get some kids to come in and help us because those pans are pretty heavy. Sure. We did, um, I did get a call from, I think his name is Siegel, from the high school. Oh, Bill, uh, yes, Bill yeah, Siegel, and, he does community and outreach. And yes, and uh, he has some kids who will come in and help with um, helping vendors and crafters bring their things in and, and take things out. However, he hasn't found anybody who wants to wash pots yet. Well, <laughs> he's a pretty Good persuasive guy. They have a class, <laughs> community service class. Yeah. Bill's a persuasive gentleman, and I'll, I'll put a bug in his ear that we might yeah. have to twist an arm or two. <laughs> Because well, I, I really appreciate it, you know. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how he got my name, my telephone number. He well, he's a resourceful fellow, and, so. And I told him, sure. Yeah, right. Any help is appreciated. That's right. Any help is appreciated. Another thing I would like to do, I don't know if I've ever done this on one of the shows before, but I'd like to thank all of the volunteers. We have a long, long list of volunteers who help us. Um, they they come in and they do all of things all of the things that need to be done because the whole place has to be set up it also has to be broken down um, we cookies. have people doing all kinds of things and of course we co-opt people's husbands <laughs> to do things right um, many hands make light work yes oh one thing I want to <coughs> mention October fifteenth is basket day last year we had about uh, six, we had 60-something baskets last year that were made by people and donated as raffle gifts. Um, but what we found was that a lot of people don't know how to put baskets together. Me, I'm one. <laughs> me, me too. Um, but there are people who know how to do that. So what we do is we find baskets from wherever on, and on a certain day. You can bring in your things that go in the basket and we have the cellophane, we have the baskets and somebody will help you put your basket together. Oh, that's great. That's a Wednesday, I believe. It's a Wednesday, right. October 15th. What time roughly? It's well, we're usually there from like 9, 9.30, so, you know. I just hate to have somebody come by at 4.30 and, you know, find oh, a place to Oh, nobody's going to be there. Right, the that's why I want to get some time. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be a little more general about we the We usually time. leave about 12, <coughs> usually, but I don't know if we stayed later last year. We stayed later on the day before the craft fair because people were bringing food in for the bake table. Right. And we also have a cookie baking day on Wednesday. Everyone yeah. comes it, in with and donates cookie dough and everybody bakes cookies. Oh, that's super. All yeah. day long. <laughs> yeah, you can... Bring in your cookie dough that you've already done, 
and it will be baked there, or you can bring in cookies that you've made. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Especially for a diabetic like me, I could hang out there. Oh, <laughs> well, we could make some sugar-free. Sugar-free ones. That's see, you're always thinking, Diane. Yeah. Did no. I think we had some sugar-free yes, last did. year. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, we, we talked about the vendors that have been there in the past. Do you have mm -hmm. any any new vendors that are coming that really piqued your interest? Uh, well, we have one new one that I really know about. Um, name is Diane Mo. Uh, she does this magnificent beaded jewelry that looks like tapestries. I mean, oh, the little oh. tiny, tiny, tiny um, beads. Um, she happened to come and join the uh, Gifted Hands, and that's how we met her. And then she, uh, I guess she has only been here a short time. She used to live here, but okay. she's been out of state. But she decided she wanted to be in the craft fair. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, I was just blown, we were blown away by the work she does. Um, there are others, I just know their names. Sure. Um, I know we're going to have someone with candles and soap. Um, off, off the top of my head, I can't, oh, I know there's um, Roberta Roberts. She's from Medford, I think. She comes and she does all kinds of things with fleece. Oh, They're nice. really, you I know, bet. these really impressive. Yeah. hoods and stuff. They're just so soft right. and so good. Um, there are a lot of different people. What is the date for the Crafts Fair? October 25th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, so that's a sad day. A Saturday. And it's at the Senior Center? Yes. And don't forget the raffles. <coughs> okay. They have lots and lots of raffles. Of, of arts and crafts type goods? Um, it could be anything. We get people who, who donate things to us, like Party Light and um, uh, Kerrig. You know, the, the coffee? coffee? Yes. They donate to us. Nice. And anybody else that we can get, we, we get lots of um, gift certificates from different people in the area. Restaurants or whatever? Or uh, yeah. yeah. And um, like, you know, Skillings. Yes, yeah, Skillings Auto on yeah. 58. They gave us five gift certificates for that He's involved stuff. in the community, sure. Yeah. Martin's um, Bakery. Yeah. Oh, Freddie Villa. Yeah. Uh, and... The Sunoco stone. Yes. A lot. We, we get a lot of them. Good. You know. That's a great because they contribute back to the community. They give mm -hmm. back and, and it really works out well. And what are the hours that we're looking at for the fair? 10 a.m. to 3. And what is there an admission price? Or? It's $1. $1 to get in. And then lunch is $3? Most generally. items. Some, right. some, there are some that are a little less, but there's nothing that's any more. Right, $3. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. even get the hot dog roll practically these days. You get the that. chips with that. Yeah, so. right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, are you looking for any more vendors? Or you're pretty well set? No, for we're not looking for any vendors or crafters. Okay. But if anybody wants to donate time or donate goods, Sure. We're happy to take it. Right. Donating time, of course, is most Im imperative because a lot of these, it's, seen, it's a senior center, and you know they're not going to be lifting up 20-pound trays of food and, and goods. So if we do have some, some youthful members that are willing to volunteer, as we mentioned, Mr. Siegel's group from the high school, or anybody that just wants to pitch in, even if it's for half an hour, 20 minutes, every mm -hmm. bit helps. And uh, many hands make light work, as we yes. say. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just trying to think what else, what other concerns I might have. Rain or shine, doesn't matter because we're inside. No, we're inside. So that's not an issue. Uh, for those of you who don't know, sometimes we broadcast to other sections of Plymouth County. That it's on Summer Street. 441. Oh, yes. 441, Summer. Right by the railroad tracks. And, it's and one thing I'd like to mention, because this has come up sometime. I'm not sure how it happens, but sometimes people come in and they think it's only one room. Oh, okay. But we have the dining room and we have the auditorium. So when you come in, uh, the main entrance is into the dining room. But there's the whole auditorium full of things. All right, so make sure you say, this is all you got? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we want to go make sure you find both rooms. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, some of the things that this funds, what the, the proceeds, is that more your bag or what's? All of us. Uh, right? All yeah. of us. And yeah. we're both on the board. Okay. Um, She's the president. Oh, yeah. okay. The... Uh, she just talked about some of the things. Right, got. some of them. But I just, yeah. I know that, like, some of the things that impressed me were the computer classes. 
I mean, I'm, I'm you're looking at someone of a different generation that you are more skilled at the computers than I am. Oh, the so computer, that's, that's run by uh, different. That's on. Yeah, but they're at the a, senior center. I just want to talk about some of the events. They're on a grant. And, okay, but still, but the senior one, center has so much. One of so the much. things that we did was, uh, did you know about the senior picnic this summer? I wasn't aware of that. Uh, well, the FOAS funded the huge tent. I'm oh, sorry, FOAS? That's. The friends, friends of Abington, Abington seniors. seniors. I'm sorry. As well as we and donated some paper goods. And okay. Yes. Sure. We yeah, also give money to the food pantry every year for Christmas and Thanksgiving. We give them a good donation because a lot of seniors go to the food pantry. Right. We also donate to the summer concerts. At the Riley Field? Yeah, yes. by the line. Yeah, yes. Yep. Um, Dale and the Duds. Dale and the Duds. East Bridgewater Zone. <coughs> Um, that's that's our mission to help the seniors um, you know be sure that there is money available to do things for the seniors of Addington right sometimes we'll have a pizza party for them or we'll have Chinese food or yeah. we'll surprise them sometimes and they'll come in and not know that they're gonna have, have some. A, a treat sure mm. right because they come in to play cribbage or whatever reason oh, they're there. the Tuesday lunch usually but yeah. we have a huge cribbage club down there. I did know yeah. that yes mm -hmm. I'm trying to gear myself up for when I'm going to be an active member down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one other thing yes. I would like to mention. Um, last year, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, we were told about um, Roach Brothers um, Sudbury Farm, who would donate bread. And it mm -hmm. started out with me going and getting it every Thursday. Now we have this about four people well it's not four people because some of them are couples i'm the right, only one that's still. one person sure and we rotate and i just want to publicly thank them sure that was because the time. um i didn't mind doing it but you know every thursday morning getting up at the crack of dawn right but yeah. we it's also have volunteers that come in and beg yeah. the thing they're there when i Great. get there and they take care of it. So we just have really good volunteers. Great active volunteers, oh, yeah. right. We have a big bingo group on Monday and the stuff we get at Sudbury Farms, the, the goodies, they go for bingo. And then the people can have the rest, the bread or any little mm -hmm. item. Sure. And yeah, why, right, because they just throw it away. You know, and I'm glad oh, they yeah, to make that Oh yeah, that's exactly and, it. Right. Um, you know, and we have, sometimes there's so much bread. Right. I, I have a kind of a small, SUV, I guess you call it an SUV. Um, <laughs> sometimes you open the doors and the bread starts falling. And out. all you can smell yeah. is the bakery. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, let's just reemphasize October 25th. Yes. At the Abington Senior Center at four, 441, 441 Summer Street, Summer Street mm -hmm. in Abington. Rain or shine, admission is $1 to get in. Most food items while you're there are $3, some are less. The most expensive is $3. Um, there are arts and crafts, various vendors that'll be there. As a matter of fact, knowing some of these the vendors, if there's a particular item you might be looking for, they may not have it at this particular fair, but they know someone who's involved in that mm -hmm. and, and make like stained glass windows or something. Um, yeah, we have, I, I, I think that Aya Heward will be there and she does. I remember glass. looking at yeah. that the last time She's I was from, there. She's uh, from Rockland, okay. the arts. There's a name for the group. Right, the group, I yeah, can't I can't remember it, it either. But, but that's yeah. when we think of it, because stained glass is always a favorite yeah. of mine. But just please get, if you get the time and you can help out, please help out. And also, we're going to be back on the air after this to do this day, day with Santa Claus. What's the official title? Breakfast with Santa. Breakfast with Santa. And that'll be in December, but we'll probably start airing in November or so, and we'll let Diane talk more about that <laughs> when it comes. <laughs> So, could I say one thing? Oh, please, thing? sure. I just want to say a thank you to the Abington Food Pantry because every Tuesday they bring us produce, bread, all kinds of stuff for the seniors every single Tuesday. Yeah, they're tremendous. And that's, yeah. like one, that's one of the shows that I always sponsor at the end. We always talk about that. Mm -hmm. So, any other things we want to get updated on Senior Center and the Abington Crafts Fair in particular? Mm. And bring your family. Kids are welcome, yes. I assume. Yes. With parents. Of with, yes. yes. And I will say that Darlene is in charge of this event, and she does one heck of a job. She's very organized, and um, everything goes off very smoothly. That's because I don't try to do everything. Well, <laughs> Everybody takes part. Well, you know how to. Yeah, she knows how to delegate authority. Right. Yes. 
My wife does that at home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. And ladies, thank you so much, Diane. Nice to see yeah, you nice again. And we'll have you again. on again in Oct November. I thank keep saying you. October about Christmas. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I see it at Walmart already. I don't know. <laughs> Darlene, always a yeah, pleasure. Thanks thank for coming you. on again. Yes. Um, now, having said that, I just wanted to just quickly, just a quick things before you leave, ladies. Um, again, the vote was Saturday. The new vote is Saturday, October 18th, and I believe it's 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Arrington Town Hall. That's a sad day. Whether you're pro or whether you're con, please come out and vote. Show your interest in the community. Uh, it's very important for, for the future of Arrington. Whether you have students or not, you know, you, you may be downsizing and you want to sell your home. A lot of people that are looking to buy a new home, I have people with children and they want to go to a good school system. And again, I truly understand some of the people that voted no, some of them I know, they financially, it's, it's a burden for, for a lot of them. And so don't be bitter or don't be upset at people that, that chose to vote no. Uh, or for those people, don't be bitter at those who voted yes. Uh, <laughs> But it's very important that you do sh express your will and, and take the time to vote, whether it's pro or con. That same day, October 18th, the Abington Boosters are going to be having a boo, it's called a boo festival, or a boo, a boo star bash. And the theme is Halloween, like boo, B-O-O. -O. Uh, it's been a, a reasonably productive fundraiser for them. This particular year, matter of fact, we just had a booster bash, excuse me, an Abington Booster fundraiser this weekend where the athletes went door to door with uh, the parents and we, we the guys were pretty successful and the ladies raising some money and it's a great program because it's for the high school youth and it's it's after school programs for varsity sports and JV sports and club sports and it's a great way for the youth to spend their time sort of hanging on the corners or, you know cause a mischief and uh, it just it just it's a great program if we can keep it afloat it'd be great so this particular uh, fundraiser is at the on the 18th of October, 7 p.m. at the Polish Club in Abington. Tickets are $20. I believe it starts at 7 p.m. It'll go till very late. Uh, if you have any particular questions, you're welcome to contact Ian Kearns. And she lives on 101 Plymouth Street. Her number is 781-878-6436. And Karen Reardon is, a, I guess, co-chairman. And she lives on Nile Street. Her number is 781 792 So please contact them if you have any questions. They're looking for donations for raffles, uh, looking for pumpkin sponsors. Uh, I guess that's for $25 a person. You put that on the table, and the, that'll your company or your group that you're sponsoring will be placed on the pumpkin. Uh, again, all this goes to, for the athletes for Abington High School. Uh, let's see. Lastly, there was that was other. Oh, the Lions Club. Diane, you mentioned the Lions Club earlier. The Million Penny Collection is still on, I think, till October 13th, October 16th, maybe. Uh, but they're close to the Million Penny Conquest already. If you have any any pennies you want to donate, I, I do know Timberlanes is a location. Drop off Trukies, Kenny Coyle down there. Uh, I believe Be the Bemis Drug, but just senior center too, the I Senior Center. The Senior Center. There you go. And it's it's a worthwhile program. It's to help programs at the Abington Public Library. Uh, again, the Lions very involved in that. And as again Diana mentioned, remember the Abington Food Pantry. They they need food 24/7. I mean, many families rely on this now. The economy is still tough for a lot of people, and any help you can give them, paper goods, you know, toiletries, food. Um, actually, money. If, I was just going to say, if it's possible, money goes a long way because because of their connections and all the work they've done and, and, and contacts they've made, they actually get about seven dollars per dollar. That if you give if you gave them a hundred bucks, they can approximately it's seven hundred dollars worth of food, mm. wow. and it just goes so far when they're able to do that. But again, you know, if you have canned goods and you want to bring them in, that's fine or, or whatever paper goods. But they're they're located at St. Vincent de Paul uh, building or whatever at the uh, St. Bridget's on Fifty Eight in Abington, right near the police station and. Um, so if you can please keep them in mind, it's, it's September now going in October. It's getting a little colder. People are going to have to start spending money on fuel. That's going to be less money for food. So any donations you can make would be truly appreciated. Uh, Darlene, Diane, thanks again for coming on. Welcome. We look forward thanks to seeing for you us. anytime. And uh, just, I want to thank Justin Shanahan again for coordinating everything for us. And uh, good luck. Go Green Wave. <laughs>